Hey guys, welcome to Shut Up and Let Me Take Your Picture. I'm just kidding. Hello everybody. That was Markiplier. God damn it. Should we have just used this entire thing as the intro and just... <laughs> Jared didn't have his microphone. Oh, okay. So... Uh, you son That'd be of a really bitch. funny. So that would have been a really funny intro. Like, we jokingly start the intro, but then we just like... Actually roll into the intro. Anyway, welcome to Shut Up and Let Me Take Your Picture. That's a, a wonderful intro that, you know, we just did. You know, we're here. We're here. My name is Daniel. I'm the host. This is Jarrett. Well, I'm the host for today. You know. <laughs> this is Jarrett. This is Max. You know I'm them. Max. He's Jarrett. <laughs> <laughs> Salmon sashimi. <laughs> what is so, happening? So I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't ready to start. Yeah, let's restart it. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Shut Up and Let Me Take Your Picture. I am Daniel, the host for this episode. This is Jarrett and Max, as you well know, on the couch. How you guys doing today? Good. Good? Shh, I gotta take your picture. Shh. I'm doing good. Shh, I'm doing let good. me take your picture. <laughs> Anything exciting happen? Like... Last two weeks since we last recorded. Fun stuff. Um, Big stuff. I made a beef Wellington. That's probably the highlight of my life now. Picks. I oh, of the beef Wellington or take did I take pictures of anybody of the beef of Wellington the beef, of the beef Wellington? Uh, I do. I do have some. Yeah, pictures. it's all right. Sweet. It's all right. You can just send it to send I'll it send to me afterwards, and I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the later. Yeah, yes. we'll do it later. Yes. yes. Trust just, me, it looks good. Was it delicious? It was okay. Honestly, I felt like it was all there, but also I think it's a pretty British dish in the first place so it's kind of just like piggybacks off of the fact that it's a pastry with meat what would ramsey say i think ramsey would have said that i'm an idiot sandwich but i think he would have been <laughs> i think he would have eaten it would he throw I, it across the room probably because i would have said this is just a really fancy pig in a blanket and i think he would have just thrown it across the room <laughs> punched me in the face Jerry, can i get your best gordon ramsey imitation <laughs> i have none you don't have one All right, i mean fine. i watch that's i fine. watch him but i'm just trying to think oh you gotta yell his he just curses and curses with shit. a British yeah. accent, dude. That's all you gotta you do. You lost the plot. <laughs> I like that insult. That it's raw, yeah. dude. Dude, I love watching Kitchen Nightmares and just watching him go off on people. I looked up the two Kitchen Nightmare episodes that were filmed in Michigan, and I like wanted to go to them, but they're both like permanently closed. They're closed. Wait, wasn't one like a dog place, or is that the wrong? I'm thinking the wrong one. Don't know. I saw him do like a dog, a dog and human diner together, and the dogs were like on the tables and shit. No, yeah. oh my god, dog maybe. fur and everything. Yeah, exactly. There was dogs in the kitchen, and he's like, "Nah, dude, you gotta yeah, separate shut all down. this shit." Yeah, but um, I did a bunch of search engine optimization over the weekend. Cool. But yeah, it's freaking cool. It's a nightmare. So, did you meet anybody new in Toronto? Uh, no, I just went to like an engagement party in Toronto. Um, cool. That was pretty fun, but uh, I actually. I did meet the person who was doing their engagement party photos because it was like mostly event coverage. Yeah. Um, it was nice talking to him. Oh, I guess this was pretty exciting. I don't remember it very well, <laughs> but this was pretty exciting. Um, I did their engagement photos for them, like the proper portrait photos. Cool. And they, I, they didn't, even, I don't remember them telling me, maybe they did, but they printed like every single one out. Oh, that's so and cool. And they posted it everywhere around their house. And they actually, one of the, the, the sister of the groom actually painted on, like, some plywood that I think was important to them. Like, the piece of plywood is important to them. Uh, and painted, like, you know, like, the very, like, the, the new art style of, like, not a lot of detail. Yeah. You know? Painted that onto, like, the photo that I took. And then cool. she actually brought two of them to me. Like, the printed one and then the painted one. And I was just like, wow, like, I was not expecting, like, those photos to have been, like, everywhere. So that was pretty cool. Probably really good exposure, but uh, I honestly that was just really cool that I I got to see all of them and just like pretty silently appreciate that. Uh, you know, my my work made people happy at some point. Yeah, so that's yeah. kind of cool. I mean, I always like seeing when people like use my pictures, like they've changed like their profile picture on Facebook or something, mm -hmm. or Instagram, or just like post a bunch of them on Instagram. I'm like, this makes me happy. I like to see it. And they tag you. Yeah, that's yeah. that's true too. That's Tag true your too. photographers. God, it's not that hard. It's not. <laughs> it's not that hard. It's not that hard. I had this one guy that I like, ref like in college when I was like just starting out. I refused to give him photos. Like I would take photos of me and my friends, and then he'd be like, "Yo, bro, where's the photos?" I'd be like, "I did not send them to him," because he never tagged me on on Instagram. Did you tag and it was so. It was just like it was so easy to do it, and you refused to do it. It's just like, well, why is what's the point? Like, yeah. why are you doing that? Are you too good for that? <laughs> Take I, I will, your own photos. I will say for like 
for paid stuff, like especially like wedding photos and stuff like that, like I never, I never really expect like if they paid for the photos, I never like expected, I should say, but like if I'm mm. handing people free photos, like I like the tag. Yeah. So that's the that's the trade. That's and the, it's and it's not even like time for print where like you're getting like a nice model where like you're getting something out of it other than like the exposure. Yeah. These are like university students. Like I'm not getting anything out of photo photographing your face. No. <laughs> Sorry. Rude, Are you whispering rude, into okay. your mic? Rude, but okay. Huh? <laughs> Jared's just like whispering. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Jared, did you meet anybody new this last two weeks? Uh, Maybe exciting. Meet anyone? Yeah. This is this is leading up to a question. Did you meet anyone? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> like, like on a, like a date? No. No, no, no. Just okay. like just like uh, meeting new people, uh, talking to new people, hmm. like having a conversation with somebody new, as compared to like. Like just running across them, you know. No, no. <laughs> okay, that's that. fair. That's fair. Did you uh, meet anyone new? No, God, no. <laughs> I was in my house all week. Uh, <clears throat> the the lead up to this uh, this question is is coming from that because when you do meet somebody new, and you're like having a conversation, and they ask you what you do as a photographer slash videographer. How do you respond? Like, what is your response to saying, do you just say, oh, I'm a photographer? Do you add, like, oh, I'm a professional photographer? I like to say professional photographer uh, because anytime I have said just photographer, people have been like, eh, oh, you have a camera. But that's also where I came from. Everybody had a camera. So everybody was a photographer. I just say I do photography. And then if they press me, I say wedding photography and I end it. <laughs> He's like, I end the conversation and I get out. And then if they press me again, then I'm like, all right, you want to follow the socials? Because I don't have business cards. That's fair. That's fair. Um, I usually, I've I've been saying videographer because I feel like videographer used to mean a lot, but now I say, I then I started to say cinematographer, which like people were like, oh, you do films and stuff. I'm like, okay, oh, now yeah, I'm not gonna do yeah. that anymore. So now I'm like, I do wedding films. That's like that's, that's cool. like the because yeah. if anyone's asking me what I do and I want to tell them for that reason, then I'll say that because that's where I feel like my exposure will be worth it. Yeah. Whereas like if I tell them about my personal projects, like yeah, I do travel photography and travel videos too. I don't make any money off of that, and I don't think that person's gonna hook me up with a flight to Banff. You know? Yeah. So like I don't really like I I mentioned that if they like press like oh like tell me more about the stuff you do. I'm like oh yeah then, then yeah. But if it's just like a quick little like pass on by like and I kind of think like he has a question in his mind yeah. i feel like it's usually for like wedding engagement that you know the the big big stuff you know so wedding film has been like the new word for me i nice. like that though because it's not like calling yourself a photographer or a videographer you're just saying this is what i do mm -hmm. that's cool mm -hmm. that's cool i had to make the decision between like i i am a dj and <clears throat> i had to make the decision for a long time to introduce myself as a dj mm -hmm. And especially back home and for a long time, too, if you said you were a DJ, people were like, ooh, you're a DJ. OK. Uh, so it was very tough. So anytime somebody asked, I was like, yeah, I'm a professional photographer and a DJ. I just watched a movie about that. It's kind of funny. About what? <clears throat> it was like um, it's a, it was about a Southeast Asian, like essentially um, they were being matched up. Mm -hmm. And they didn't want to be matched because they are here in America. And yeah. I guess that's, like, too traditional for them. Yeah. And you find out later in the movie that he's just, like, a DJ <laughs> and not a doctor or, like, yeah. a tech startup that went to MIT. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he, like, spends all this money. And then they're like, where are you getting this money? And I guess, like, in the movie, he had, like, DJed for Facebook and they tr gave him stock. Oh, that's cool. And so he, like, DJed their... <laughs> their parties before they you know had stock to be really selling and oh that's cool so he had like millions of dollars just from doing a couple gigs um, where's my <laughs> where's my Facebook where's my stock, stock? <laughs> yeah in uh i guess the person who i would have gotten stock from would be uh a wildlife preservatory which could be very important stocks in the future you should ask in the future how much the are the stocks yeah i should have asked them to pay me in wildlife preservation stocks 
Dude, Are those a thing? Asking. I'm gonna start give asking for <laughs> payment and stock. Give, give give me a very exotic bird. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Like you still keep it like on your location. Like it's still in your reserve, but it's my bird. Yeah. I name it. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna name it? What? Salmon sashimi. <laughs> oh my god. I also watched Game Changer show recently. Not the whole show, just a clip. And uh, one of the this episode was uh, really funny. But he's like. You have to name a bird. I'm gonna show a bird on the screen, and if you if you name the bird, you get a point. You sent that to me, didn't you, dude? It's freaking hilarious. That's what, I was looking. I was catching up on my my reels and memes been sent to me, and I just saw that in the parking lot today. <laughs> was it hilarious? It's pretty funny. Like the first two birds for the first people were always yeah. like chicken or like penguin, and yeah. the last guy got something like a uh, Malaysian firecracker. Oh my! <laughs> He's like. You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? <laughs> it was even funnier. It was one of the girls who was like getting handed the answers. She didn't even get chicken because she looked at it. And it's like, how often do you really see a chicken? And you're like, oh, yeah, that's a chicken, right? Yeah. You think of chicken. You think of like, I feel like you think of the meat, like the food, yes. right? And then it was like the white chicken with like the red little thing. And then I think she wanted to say rooster or hen, which I think hen would have been true. Yeah. Uh, but And then she was just like, is it, is it a chicken? And it was kind of funny, too. <laughs> So I, along with the, the, the previous question that we had, though, is like how you introduce yourself or like what you do, what are some of the weirdest and or funniest questions, like follow-up questions after you've said what you do? Follow-up and or question? the most interesting, like after you say, oh, I'm a photographer, and then what, like they ask you a question like after that. Do you have any like funny answers? I don't funny answers think of any really? funny ones, but I think... Uh... Uh, someone asked me to fly with them to Peru to do their engagement. And yes. I was like, oh, are you trying to get like the moment of? And then he was like, yeah, I'm trying to get the moment of, but also like some nice portrait photos of the event. Yeah. And I was like, cool. You do know that like a lot of people get their like engagement photos done like after the engagement is done, right? Because then like the girl can be all dolled up and stuff and they can do their nails, do their makeup and stuff. Because, like, if you're hiking to the top of a thing in Peru, you're probably not going to, like, have all that stuff on, um, right? Bring it. But at the same time, I think it's still good to, to, to film. I think he's just. I think it was just interesting to me because I feel like he didn't really think that that was ever, like, an option. That you can do an engagement photo that's not the surprise, the moment of the surprise. That's fair. Yeah. But nothing really funny. I <laughs> wish I had more funny people interact with me. <laughs> I don't think that I have anything that funny, to That's be fair. honest. That's fair. I didn't have a lot of time to think through these questions, so uh, I also do not have anything funny that happened to me, which kind of sucks because I'm the host, but you know, it's whatever. It's whatever. So we're going to move on to the next part. <laughs> <laughs> Ask us funny questions when we meet you. Bro, just give us some funny questions. So uh, along with the lines of, uh, of the game that you guys were talking about, so I'm going to be showing you guys some pictures. Uh, oh no, how did I call this? And uh, basically what I need you guys to do is based off of the picture, I need you to tell me what type of photos the person who would use this type of equipment takes. So I'm going to show you some pictures right. of equipment. Of equipment? Of oh, equipment. Okay, okay, okay. And I want you to determine what type of pictures that person okay. would take. So uh, uh, this oh, is going to be hard to hold. We're looking at photo equipment. I yep, get it. Okay. yep, yep, yep. So, here's our first picture. Light and airy wedding photos. Um, I'm going to go with uh, crocodile, alligator, <laughs> nature, hunter guys. That's fair. That's fair. All right. All right. Next one. Oh. Oh, yeah. The wedding photographer. Oh, yeah. This is literally like the same gear that I have, but this is the guy. So this is Jared. Yeah. 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 Mine's red, though. Oh, that's... Yeah. Event, anything event and real time stuff because you have the two. Yeah, you need to you need to holster right? those cameras. Yeah. That's fair. Wedding That's fair. Anything pose you don't need to bring too. I don't even know what that is. You're you're filming something with your family, and you you bought that at <laughs> uh, at like the Grand Canyon like tourist center. What, what is that? A bracelet. So so I I've seen this around. Uh, some people have seen it, some people haven't, but it's like a paracord oh. wrist strap that attaches to your camera. So if, so if it's paracord, <laughs> it's somebody like hiking and taking photos, maybe. That could be. Uh, someone who's taking family photos outside the Johnson NASA Space Center and 
bought that with strep at the at the gift <laughs> shop. <laughs> That's actually that. That's pretty fair. Every time that I've seen anybody wearing this, it's normally um, like one of those hipster photographers, usually, uh, and it's like the really bright colored, like paracord and stuff like that. So that's that's hilarious. That's fun. What about this? Um, high school graduation <laughs> photos. <laughs> Like, you know, like the portraits for your student ID where like it just somehow always looks really bad. Like the what? The imaging, imaging edge photos. Yeah. That's this, what that, that's This actually looks like that one time that me and Daniel were taking photos of each other in suits. And, uh. Does it though? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we had that sort of background. I wish we did. I mean, that's, and that's then fair. we could have had like lasers in the background. I don't get like the cotton candy in the back backdrop. Like what's the. But it does look like I'm in high school. Yeah. yeah. What's, yeah. what's with the cotton candy like fluffs? Why so, would someone sell that? <laughs> I mean, I I understand that. I realized Back I didn't I didn't describe the photos for the people who are just well, listening. I, oh. Oh, I, I will, but for the people oh, listening, for the, people, for the listening. people listening, the very first one was one of those uh, those like flat brimmed hats. Uh, those ones that you see. Uh, the second one was like a double camera strap, like leather camera strap holder. Uh, the third one, once again, was that paracord wrist strap, and then the most recent one was a uh, a stool sitting in front of a backdrop, but not just any stool. Uh, it's like one of those office like doctor stools. Yeah, I guess with rolling wheels. Yes, with rolling wheels. It's the one that I couldn't fit my ass on. Dude, this this school. is like this is like those Sears backdrops. Did yes. you guys ever get pictures done at Sears? Is that just a white people thing? That could just be a white people thing. My wife used to work there at the Sears Portrait Studio. That's fair. That's fair. No, my 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 uh, my family did the uh, <laughs> the the go to Sears, go to the studio, uh, get awkwardly posed. Uh, I'll see if I can find some of the pictures and put them into the into the the actual video. Uh, I think I did. Really? Yeah. yeah. And it's I just like being awkwardly to... posed with your family? I think it was just me. I think my parents oh, okay. were like, hey, this is what the Canadians and the Americans do. <laughs> so we should do it too. And then we did it one time. And then my mom saw the bill and saw the photos. And she was like, no. Never again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, that's fair. Like, they're, they're very interesting so. photos. Uh, and they're always like, yeah. It's always like the... Like somebody's like laying on their stomach while somebody's like on their side, and like it's it's always like weird. I think they're good photos. If I'm yeah. gonna be honest, I think they're always like pretty good photos. I just feel like that style kind of like moved forward with like the invention of like cell phone cameras, and yeah. then like making like DSLRs and now mirrorless cameras very accessible. Yeah. Um, but no, there was a definitely a time and place for that. Because I think I remember being like a kid and like yeah, there's no chance we were getting any anything close to that quality of a photo. Right. It was just that my parents were like, we just immigrated and they were like, we don't have the money to spend on this yeah, often. Right. So I wouldn't want to spend any money on it. Really? So I feel you. Oh. Well, not this, not, <laughs> not in the not not in there. I would mm. love I love family photos. Just oh, like <laughs> other like other studios. Oh, He's like, the, I would portrait, never the spend portrait. the money on yeah. family photos. Are you kidding me? No, not at the portrait. Studio. He sets up a tripod. <laughs> oh my god, I tried that one time. It's not. It's not. You just hire just hire the freaking family just, photographer. Yeah, guy. just hire somebody else. I heard of a photographer that I worked with at a wedding, which I think I've already talked kind of a little bit of shit with him, anyways, on the podcast. Uh, he's the foot guy, the guy who kept on taking pictures of people's feet, um, like the brides and bridesmaids. What? Yeah, in front of his wife. What? I'm so confused. What is happening? He was like sh showing off that he was like, yeah, I just like set up five cameras at my wedding with her, and then I just like had a remote in my in my pocket, so I would just keep clicking the remote, and then we just get photos, and it was photos done for free, and I was like, okay, weird flex, great, but okay. Yeah, did I? I, I swear I told you I don't, about this. I don't think you told us that before. All right, quick, so quick expand, detour. Yes. Um, I, so this is one of my first videos, solo videos, because I'm doing this as a thing for a friend. Um, and then she already had the photographer, and her whole thing was like, okay, let's cut some corners and let's make this a very affordable wedding. Um, and they live to their budget, which is like, I love that. Um, the photographer that they hired, I think, also did their engagement photos, but during the getting ready with the girls. And also, he didn't do any getting ready for the guys, but do, with during the getting ready with the girls, 
um, while they were getting their makeup done and stuff, they're all in the robes and stuff, and then some of them were even changing. Um, I'm obviously there in the other room waiting for like moments, you know, that would be um, chill, but also like if they're fully dressed, then yeah, I was just like, hanging out, just seeing if there's anything for the getting ready, especially when the mom came in. Um, he was in the corner with them the whole time, every now and then just taking photos, and it's like the shutter's going off. It's like very obvious photos are going off. And then I think at one point there was like uh, the girls were like putting on their anklets because like they designed jewelry for themselves. And then he was like, oh, yeah, shake those feet for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep shaking that. And he's just like, like burst mode, just like shot so many of the feet photos. I'm like, OK, I get it. One or two. But like just the fact that it was before the anklets were put on that he was still taking the, that that photo multiple times. It seemed a little weird. I can imagine a couple of aesthetic moments where, like, taking a photo, a black and white photo of all the feet sitting on the couch, all in line. Yeah. But, like, it, I feel you pose those photos. Yeah. It, I don't think there was any, like, candid feet, feet pics from that day that... I, okay, also, I got access to the, the, the entire uh, photo catalog, too. Um, so I could use any photos for the video if I needed to. And none of them were there. That either means they were bad, or... Or... He was... <laughs> Keeping them for his own. This is the rated. Uh, this is the rated R section of the video. Disclaimer. Kids, if you're listening to this, first of all, don't <laughs> plug your ears. Second of all, don't hire guys who like feet photos. Well, I mean, can, they can they, like them. How would they know? They can though? like them, but just like, don't don't be okay with that. If it happens, speak up. See, I wonder if like I wonder if the girls like noticed, like if they were like. I've never asked. He's taking a lot of pictures of our feet. Like, yeah. like if you noticed, like, I wonder if they noticed. Yeah. Like, and like, how awkward that would that be, though? Because you don't want to like piss off your wedding photographer. Like, you don't want to be like, hey, bro, why are you taking pictures of our feet? Like, and then he gets all huffy mm -hmm. and then he just decides to bounce. Like, mm -hmm. then you just like, yeah. This is wild. <laughs> That's a tough situation, man. Yeah. yeah. I actually, I, I only saw them, like, once afterwards, and, like, it's my fault because I got so busy right after that wedding. Um, it was at Thanksgiving, and I didn't think to ask oh, how man. they felt about it. But I, they were all, like, when I went to the Thanksgiving, it was, like, everyone in the wedding party, like, recognized me. They was like, oh, it was the video guy because, like, they met me that day. Yeah. Um, and then they were like, oh, dude, your, vid your video was so great. Like, we're going to get you, like, any other, like, of us when it happens. Th like, I think they were the last to get married, though. Um, but they were like, yeah, we're going to recommend you all around. Like, we loved you guys. Uh you know, the photo's not so much, but we know, like, you did the video and you did good. So, like, I noticed that they didn't like the photo guy, but I didn't ask, actually, about that specific part uh, of it. I think they had a lot of complaints in general. I mean, that's also an awkward thing to bring up. Be like, yeah. Do you remember when the, your photographer was yeah. taking a ton of pictures of your Because also, feet? if they didn't notice, I don't want to be the guy to be, like... To bring that's it a up. That's a pretty traumatic thing, I think. Yeah. For, for, for people to realize, so... Yeah. I'm not going to talk about it. <laughs> that's weird dude that's a lot of weirdness she actually she actually could be someone who would like chat, watch this podcast though so i'm so and, sorry yeah if uh this is how you're finding out but <laughs> i support you I, I i want you to i want you to be good <laughs> love you miss you sorry i'm so busy <laughs> back to the game after that uh, <laughs> that, oh uh, that interesting uh diversion i'm glad you told that story though that was uh that was an a plus plus story uh, all right, so next, next one, next one. Oh, dude! Oh god! It's a roll of film. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah, it is a roll of film. Dude, they're wearing okay. They're wearing. <laughs> Jared's triggered by they're this. They're wearing one. <laughs> those glasses that you see in the Domler show. Oh, okay. And then, <laughs> and <laughs> and they're all house music DJs <laughs> with. With uh, short in the front, long in the back hair. Oh, okay. So you got like the mullet style hair. And then they have the film cameras. Okay, that's fair. These guys are the people who go on like, you know, if you guys ever go to the Niagara Falls, they take photos of you while you're on the boat yeah. that goes right underneath the waterfall. These are the people who do that photo. They, they like stand on the boat and they take your photo. Um, and then it takes a while to get developed, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have their own developing. Oh, then yeah. <laughs> Bro, I've never been to Niagara Falls. I don't know. All right, this next one. It's a, it's a, an, 
a 200 to 300 millimeter lens. I think it's uh, bigger than that, actually. 200 to 600 millimeter yeah, lens. Yeah, 400 to 600. Yeah, this is a sports photographer. We shoot kids' games or we shoot professional football. Uh, yeah. yeah. Or he really likes birds. <laughs> birds? Like, birds. Really birds. Likes birds. Or he really birds. likes birds. Birds. I saw one guy uh, who like was doing bird f- birding and bird photography, and he actually like put out like a rifle like handle, so that every time he would like aim his like camera at a bird, he'd actually like pull up okay. as if he's like shooting a shotgun. It's, it's a little sketch, but I understand it though. You have so much more stabilization, like holding like you're holding a gun. I think he's doing it for sport. Holding like, I think he was doing it for sport. Yeah, like if he takes a picture and he goes back and he sees a, a, like the the bird in the frame, I think he actually gets points for that, like in his head. Interesting. Because he wasn't holding it up and like sniping, he was like waiting for the bird to fly and then going up like a skeet oh, shooting. Oh, okay. He was, so he, he's, he has the form shooting, of a skeet shooter, but he's, he doesn't want to yeah. shoot the or maybe he just can't shoot the birds. Yeah, and I was like, wow, that's I. I don't know how a to little feel against. About that. I'm <laughs> a little against hunting. It was a pacifist hunting. Yeah. But, like, I know there's a time and place for it, but, like, this, I appreciate. <laughs> that's interesting. That's good. That falls under a stigma, which is also what I wanted to talk about since we went through all of these items. Uh, what are some of the photography stigmas that, that or photographer slash videographer stigmas that you guys can think of? Because we already talked about, like, the really, like, the, the hippie guy who's got, like, his film camera, his little DSLR, who's always doing, like, street photography and stuff. Oh, the for videography. Oh my God! There's the like the vlogger. Yeah. There's the guys who sit alone at a diner or like alone at a restaurant, and like there's people who do it well. And but there's such a like a big thing with it. It's like oh, you just bring your camera around and you just like vlog and you just like get in people's ways. There's tons of vloggers who don't do that, who don't get in people's ways. But I think that's yeah. a big stigma that like like vloggers, like YouTube content creators, like there's a lot of effort that they put into their videos and like. Being in people's ways is one of the things that I'm like a lot of them think about. Yeah, yeah. What about you? what about you, Jerry? You got any? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. <laughs> Do you have one? Uh, I need more context. Well, yeah, because we already did the we already did the hat. So there's like the girl with the mm. the hat, and she's got like the sweater and the leggings, and she takes like the light airy like engagement photos and. Stuff like that. That's another. That's another photo stigma. It's just the hat in general, dude. Like the flat brimmed, like Indiana Jones hat, but it's like flat brimmed. Yeah. They're, the guy. The guys. The 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 guys that drive Subarus around and. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> that's I the think, joke. I, I think. It's, <laughs> I think. Maybe not as much of a stigma, but I think the the Subaru the car photo photographers yeah. are also usually sometimes like the ABG also slight like kind of not really boudoir but like you know like the the booby picture like instagrammers I could see that yeah. uh and also are what? like they, it's the same realm yeah. the people who yeah, take okay. photos of cars are the same uh, people who take photos of like girls that are like doing like but it's, but it's it, like, I was you know, going like, to say cuz it's not like I wouldn't classify it as boudoir it's like exactly. ra- I it's like it raunchy boudoir. boudoir. Yeah. Just like modeling photos and yeah, swimsuits. Like modeling photos and no, swimsuits. No, not even that. It's That's just weird. I wouldn't even call it modeling. <laughs> I it, that it's a, bad, it's a, it's a, I don't want to say like cuz OnlyFans isn't all just like, you know, like oh, well, really yeah, yeah, bad yeah. like not bad, but like you know like really like this is hardcore like porn. They have a lot of like you know softcore porn. I feel yeah like that's what I would call it. It's like <laughs> don't get canceled, Max. <laughs> I'm all for it. <laughs> Keep going. Clearly, there's a bunch of a other people that are all for it since there's a ton of people making a crap ton of money on OnlyFans. Have, so have, have you have you guys seen what Andrew the photographer on Instagram? I think he was one of like, the first pioneering ones that like really brought. I think all all of his girls are like the I don't want to say like like the implant implant. ABGs. They're like Asian girls, always wearing like some sort of lingerie or like bikinis, and the half of his photos are him pulling down on their bras, and it's just it's not even their face; it's just like the boobs, and like he shows off his Rolexes and all of his fancy watches, and like that's how he gets content, that's how he gets clicks. And like, I wouldn't want to say that is boudoir because I feel like that doesn't no that doesn't reflect what I think of your art. Yeah, because I see your art, I'm just like, damn. I'm not sure. Yeah, and I think I've seen right? this guy before. Yeah, but yeah. Anyways, I only hate him because I want to be him. 
<laughs> but I think that's a stigma. It's like, oh my it's like, I think that's the stigma too. It's just like you take photos of women. Oh, you probably take photos of like OnlyFans content. Yeah, yeah. that. Yeah, I could see that. I can see that. Uh, what else o- is there? Only hands. Only hands. Only his hands. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, can I double up? Actually, yeah, go for it. This is something that I've always, always, always felt. Um, the street photographers only taking photos of like girls is like girls wearing like provocative clothing like does tights. that happen yes toronto toronto so there's a facebook group toronto street photography and every other post was this one guy named tony who kept on taking photos of girls who were wearing like deep v-necks who were like and it's like it's like scary how like it took a while but i i, I don't know why i started noticing it but i just remember thinking like oh like this is like iphone photos but like a lot of iPhone photos are totally fine and like yeah. are true street photography. But then like this one guy always had this photo of like these incidents where girls were wearing like very deep dresses, like deep like whatever breasted jet dresses and stuff, <laughs> or like always from behind where like you could see their like you know see like their that, butt crack. that that's interesting because it makes you wonder if he is doing it intentionally or if yeah. he's like if it's just like unintentionally because i feel like a lot of people who do take like pictures like that aren't usually the ones that flaunt them yeah it's so wild yeah and it's like yeah i don't know especially when i was like in that group not in anymore yeah but when i was in that group i was like just starting out and like starting to like learn more about everything and i didn't want to be like oh yeah like i don't want to gatekeep i don't think that's my place or anyone's place yeah um but yeah it was just kind of weird because like i would be like really pissed off if like if i saw my friends there and like like you're just taking photos of my friends. Like, yeah. I've, yeah, I've had a friend getting a, got a photo taken of them in uh, under from a stall, you know. That's messed up. Like in a washroom stall, like someone just like put the phone underneath and took a quick photo. How did they find it? How did they find it? Oh, I was right there. We got the we 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 trapped them in the washroom and then we got the police to come. Nice. Yep. What? Ha- that's like sounds like a crazy story. Um, because they deleted, we like took their phone and like the agreement between the cops and uh, our party, our group. Was that if we can go through the phone and make sure that nothing was sent, like all of the apps, all of the stuff, like we saw it so fast that like we felt like there's no chance that they could have like posted it online, like yeah. like on a on a cloud server or something. But we went through like pretty much all the apps in front of the police, and then we're like, okay, we're confident that there's nothing there. But like because there was nothing there, there's no evidence. The yeah. police couldn't do anything. That's crazy. But like it's gone, and yeah. that's like what we could. That's what we were happy to do. But, yeah. Yeah. That's that's insane. Yeah. So yeah, stigma of photographers being creepers. That's yeah. That's very far from it. I think it's very far from it. Yeah, it's always creepers being creepers and using photos as a as a medium yeah. of their of their evil. Yeah, yeah. So I view. Used... Sorry, I'm being a downer right now. <laughs> Max's Max's stories are. Don't all... go to Toronto. Don't all go to Toronto. Toronto. Anyway, next episode we'll be in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we should do like the Chris Hansen like to to catch a predator. Like we should like get girls like like we should hire like our you know girls to, to. It sounds like, like it's going in the weird direction. Going? <laughs> they should like like bait these guys, and we should like be on those like you know the the the, the 600 millimeter cameras yeah. watching for guys trying to take <laughs> sneak photos. We should like, catch them like in like 4K and just be like, you know, have you seen the To, to Catch a Predator like Chris can, Hansen? Can, yeah, can, we, can yeah, we bust yeah. in like Ashton Kutcher? Oh hell yeah, yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> and we'd be like, hi, I'm Chris Hansen. <laughs> and then just be like, just be like, there he is, there he is. He just he took the photo, he took the get him, and then everybody yeah. just like gets out of the car and just comes like sprinting across and oh just my tackles gosh. this dude. We need like two video guys that, who are just like running with those old school. <laughs> I like, was gonna DV say like tape the, cameras, uh, like the uh, oh god, what's that show? About the, uh, like, the pregnancy show or whatever. 16 and Pregnant? No. Uh, about, like, uh, the, like, the DNA tests and stuff. The Maury show. Oh, Maury Popovich show? Yeah, 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 yeah. We just need those, those camera guys, the ones that Somebody are just, like, comes from behind, behind the us. Wall. Yeah. yeah. And Jerry Springer. And Jerry yeah. Springer. Oh, that, yeah, that's what I was of, thinking of. Yeah. 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 <laughs> cool. Yeah, so next episode, Toronto, we'll be catching you guys. Be aware. Be ready. We have to do parkour while we're doing it. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> but we'll have to replace ourselves with dude, stunt doubles. We'll we just could, find Toronto dude. free runners and just it'll just like switch people, you know, our stunt doubles. I know? actually know guys nice. and, and gyms that are like for parkour people. I can see that. I can see that. That'd mm. be fun. I used to do parkour. I know Max doesn't want to do this, but he said he'll do it. We need to uh, get them lav mics going. You can cut this out, but lav mics and do that rock climbing episode. 
Uh, we could. Yeah, I got laugh mics. Yeah. I'll do it for the episode. Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm. I'm. I, I just. I. I need to express my displeasure, but I'll do it. I'll but we do won't it. even do. Well, I mean, that. That's fine. That's we won't fine. even have to do the ones with the tether. We can just do. We'll the, just do the bouldering. I, I think I prefer doing the the, the bouldering always, yeah. but I feel like for the video's sake, I feel like it'd be a little bit more freeing to do the bouldering. Correct. It would be kind of fun though to at least like for the last bit like to to climb and then somebody has to like you ask them a question and then oh. while they're climbing they have to give like their answer to the question mm. on their way up. Mm. So you're just like God, oh fuck. Oh, Every fuck. I'm going to do a level 0 for that one. <laughs> <laughs> Every... You have to ask them to describe a concept or something while they're climbing. Every, uh, every like move you make, like every like what handle yeah. hold you go to, you ha- you can only say one word. <sighs> so you have to climb a lot. Yeah, you have to climb a lot. Well, yeah, you gotta hit the top. Yeah. yeah. I think this aesthetic is overrated. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that two words? And then you gotta go over another. Oh uh, man. <laughs> Go back down. <laughs> I put a hyphen in between it. Now it's one. Yeah. That's fair. That is fair. Um, any other stigmas you guys can think of? Nope. Insert crickets. Nope. Yeah, I, I can't think of too many other stigmas. I feel like we've either addressed them all or like they're negative and I don't want to bring up any more. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. That is fair. Um, so. Dark cast podcast episode. Oh, I remember one one lights, more stigma, and that is like the uh, what is it? They call it gear junkie, the guy who has just like all of the equipment doesn't and just, use like, all of it, and doesn't use all of it. They have just like a ton, a ton of stuff. Um, but what's I thought of one. Okay, um, the guy who has the camo wrapped like two hundred millimeter yeah. plus uh like you know <laughs> the, the lenses nature photographer. the nature photographers yeah. they're always like really white bearded folk that are like old and like they're like oh you know the swallows are not uh they're not singing today that must mean that like the the crickets are are out oh, and then like <laughs> I, I was like doing a, a video of like um like metal you know the metal line fishing yeah um and i was doing my friend doing that it was a small small mini doc for him and uh, we walked across so many guys doing, like, nature photography. And they'd always just be like, oh, look, other people with cameras. I'm going to go talk to them about their gear. Oh and, like, God. meanwhile, I'm here with my, like, what? I had my, like, 24 to 70 millimeter. Yeah. And then he was, like, definitely judging me. He's like, you're not, not, gonna get, this- you're not going to get the swallow with that thing. Uh, yeah, that looks a little small, doesn't I, it? <laughs> I actually do have one, though. And this is not a shot at Max. But, you know those videographers who literally, like, won't, like not be in frame of every single shot and are like literally just like on top of the clients and like as i'm trying to shoot anything they're just like all up in the client's You're face hating on max right now no not max is not the you video- just keep staring at him while max you're saying is, this. Max isn't the videographer who does this. He's like, "Oh yeah, Max." Bro, I went to a wedding <laughs> one time and as they're doing their first kiss like the videographer was literally like where the priest would normally stand and just like overhead with the camera and I'm like, Could you get out of the frame? Like Oh yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. Um, I think a big thing for videographers is you need to have a stabilizer and shoot from a further focal point. Yeah. Because to get something steady handheld, yeah, you need like a fourteen millimeter and then you're gonna be right up in their face. You can get yes. a very, very similar and probably better composed photo video if you have something on a stabilizer and are further away and out of people's way. Uh, but personal like note of, 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 of insult that wedding that you and I first worked together, the other videographers that were hired complained about me being in the shot. <laughs> and I'm like, the photographers didn't say anything. Well, I don't think you, I don't have a single photo of you in yeah. my shot. Like these guys didn't get a problem in me. Like also get the shot. I mean, do you remember what? that time when we all circled the couple at the same time? That was cool. <laughs> but it's like, like, yeah, we all worked together that night. I yeah. thought that we were totally fine. We all worked together. And then he was like texting me. He's like, hey, man, we have no usable footage. I'm like, fucking sucks. <laughs> oh, I, I almost By wonder. Mine. I think we talked about this before. Yeah. I almost wonder if their footage was just like garbage. So they were trying to get your footage like to edit with. They, uh, they are real estate videographers oh. who are, were trying to break into wedding. Um, and have you guys heard of Peter oh, Wallbeck? Parker Wallbeck? 
he like has this like kind of scammy like uh, videographers tutorial on YouTube, and some of it's good okay. information. Yeah, but like they both were like, oh yeah, we met on Parker Walbeck's like you know you know like design course or oh, whatever cool. the, the, the his instructional videos, and I was like, oh, I already immediately kind of knew. Great. Like, nothing wrong with that, but at the same time, it's like if you think you're ready to make that transition already, and no. that was a little. It was a little. It was a little unsettling because I was like friends of the groom. Yeah. Uh, and I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to try to get them the best video I can. How yeah. many, yeah, like, honestly, like, if you haven't done any weddings and you're just jumping in like that, or have not gone to a wedding at least, a few of them, like, like 20. I meant, like, gone to weddings. Video. <laughs> Daniel. <laughs> video is a whole different game. Have you ever been to a wedding? You DJed weddings. Yeah, I've been to a lot of weddings. That's... I feel like you de- did you DJ weddings before taking photos of them? Oh yeah. yeah. Let's see. That's what I'm saying. You've been to some. Yeah, but I also wouldn't say that I paid as much attention as I do now as or yeah, back then. I mean, I like I said when I moved here like my DJ level went like I thought I was a DJ when I moved to Michigan and I realized like definitely not the case like really not I wasn't bad. Did you put on Apple Music and just say, no. yeah, this is No, it. I mean, I never did that. I always mixed, but, um, like, between, like, song choice, uh, I would never touch a mic. Like, I would never MC anything. But we always normally had, like, MCs, like, working with us, so I wouldn't have to. But, like, I never had to pay attention because I was just there to play music. So, um, yeah, knowing what I know now... I don't know. I was like a m- mediocre DJ back then, so you know, that's what I was. So yeah, Medi- Medi- mediocre, mediocre. Yes. Um. So since we kind of talked about the uh, the the gear junkie, in which I realized that none of us are really gear junkies, what is your all right? So price excluded, availability excluded. What is your dream piece of equipment? That you wish you could have. That you could just buy off of the shelf right now. Like go to the store right now? Like go to the store right now. Like whatever big store, whatever big brand. Like no price range, nothing. Well, because I've never held something at that price point. All I can think of is like the top tier Nikon 5 camera. Like the DSLR. Yeah, Yeah, the D5, yeah. But I've never really had one, so I really don't know. Well, that's not not what I'm talking about. I'm I'm I. Uh, I understand where you're coming from, but like just all of those points aside, like have you ever just like seen a piece of equipment that you're just like, it's beautiful. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I was going to say I wanted like that really crazy like hexacopter that has like the IMAX cameras underneath. Oh, shit. You know, like, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like the ones that can get like the eagle's eyes like, oh, you know, like when you're like Superman flying, you know. Those types of quadcopters, like, yeah. but like this hexacopters, octocopters. Uh, I feel like that's a little bit of a cop out answer. No, it's not As a cop out um, answer because it's literally like it's it's a drone camera. Yeah, like because yeah, like, I would use it. I would I would use the shit out of that. That sounds I, cool. Yeah, at a wedding, bro. Like yeah, hold on to your hats because <laughs> I'm flying through um, that You're just or like flying down the aisle. <laughs> yeah. just coming through. Oh yeah. Um, that, uh, just like movement things, like, yeah. I, I, just like, you know, the trolleys on the rails, oh, that would um, be cool. uh, and, uh, like cranes. Honestly, okay. yeah. I wish I had more than just one because like, I also would like one of those full format 35 millimeter, like square cameras. Cause like oh, we're, be cool. we're using yeah. full frame, but these are full, full frame. frame. Yeah. And then like, I would always wanted one of those tilt shift lenses. Yeah. But I always like could never like bring myself to buy one. Yeah. On the kind of topic of that, I want anamorphic lenses for yes. cinematography. Yeah. Just because, like, it is so crispy. Like, the way that the bokeh, like, and, like, the light just reflects so well off of those lenses. I very much want one. You're like, where can I spend my money? B&H, yeah. I'm coming for you. <laughs> I'm coming to buy. Oh, speaking of B&H, I went there one time, and it was pretty cool, but it was, like. Where is the nearest, like, b and In New York. Oh, is it? Is, is it's it just the only the store, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only oh, that's store, what I okay. and it's like a massive camera store. And like, this was kind of closer to when I first started shooting. I think I was already like, uh, three, maybe four years in. I think more like three. So I wasn't buying anything, mm-hmm. but it was cool. Candy. 
my my initial answer to that question, by the way, was a helicopter. <laughs> an action, just like, yeah, just like I mean, listen. If it helps you get better pictures, technically, it's equipment for your job. So it's not technically a cop out answer, but like, I'll take a Bugatti. You know, yeah, yeah. I would take one of those yachts. Yeah, dude. Have you seen the the yacht a a yacht yacht a? I am not in the world of knowing or wanting to know about yachts. Well, it's bigger. <laughs> so than that's kind of cool. It's bigger than a cruise ship. <laughs> What? Yeah. Why would you need a yacht like that? I don't know, man. I don't know. I just want one. <laughs> <laughs> it fits another yacht inside of the yacht. Yeah. Here's oh, my here's my getaway yacht. yacht. <laughs> <laughs> you take a yacht to get to your yacht. <laughs> Which has a speedboat on it. <laughs> Which, uh, Which also has a spaceship that launches from your yacht. You know? <laughs> hey, sorry, guys. I need to actually go into work. I need to take the yacht uh, from my yacht. Back to my uh, my small yacht. yacht, yeah, <laughs> Tri- triple yacht. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Well, what would you? you what yeah, would you, did you want? Say anything? No, you didn't. Say uh, I haven't said anything. So D five has has definitely been my top. Um, I would like one of the Leica cameras. That'd be cool. But I also just don't shoot like I feel like Leica is more of like a casual kind of thing. Like you don't shoot like professional events with Leica cameras. Um, I mean, I'm sure people do, but uh, for me, just like the because of the style of camera, like it's designed kind of like an old school camera. Um, I feel like it's more along the lines of like, oh, like we're gonna shoot like you know like street photography and stuff like that, um, which I should do more often because be fun. But also like. I have a hard time just being like, yeah, I'm just going to walk the street and just take pictures. Yeah, that's, I don't know, that's weird for me. Like, I could do it in, like, a group setting. Like, if we were to walk around Toronto, like, absolutely, I'll do some street photography, but... That's what we should do. Yeah. We should go find Tony. The tiger? No, Tony the creeper. Yeah, oh! let's go catch him! <laughs> that could be part of the, the part of the Toronto trip. Yes. Yeah. yeah. That'd be Honestly, cool. like, like you said, we just need to... Do a Toronto vac shootcation. Yeah, shoot-cation. I was gonna say that might be that might be a fun like instead of like a podcast episode, make it like a long format video, mm-hmm. like just like a trip, like content day but content week. Oh, oh, that's hot. <laughs> that's real. You hot. can't say that. <laughs> Ooh, it's cold. <laughs> Ooh, it's, it's hot and it's cold. Is it yes, yes or no? no. <laughs> 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 oh. Okay, so for this next part, since we've been talking about equipment and everything like that, uh, I have a test for you guys to see if you actually know the equipment that you're using. But I love the transitions, by the way. I Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I need to get uh, some earbuds for you guys. So, Okay, so I'm going to start the audio. Basically, the, the, the point of this game is you're going to hear some noises, some shutter noises, uh, and... Your goal, there's going to be a few different ones per each one, but... That's not fair for me. No, 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 no. See, here's here's the thing. It's not guessing specific cameras, because I realized none of us are that good. Like, that would just be boring, because all of us would get it wrong. Um, so, we're going to go through a few different types, and then you have to name the brand of camera okay that's going okay so uh i'm gonna hit play on this if you can't hear it let me know if you want the volume turned up let me know and then i'll pause it like in between uh brands oh and i'm also not gonna tell you which brand it is if you get it wrong mm. canon i was gonna say canon that is correct hang on let me uh let me fast forward to does he get a point because he said it faster than me? Because I was thinking Canon. Well, this, this is kind of like a this is kind of like a joint thing. You oh, guys can thing? do this okay. together. Good, um, because as a videographer, I don't hear these noises very often. <laughs> Nikon. Nikon. That's correct as well. Wow. Dang, you guys are good at this. Sony. Olympus. Oh. Incorrect. 
Oh. Not Sony. If it were Sony, you'd hear the shutter slightly break each time. <laughs> I'd say that's Sony. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's Sony. I could hear it shattering. <laughs> <laughs> I could hear the shutter literally breaking. That happened to mine. Did I tell you guys that? Your shutter broke? Yeah, my shutter broke. Oh no. Uh I I, I fixed it myself, but it's not gonna be permanent. So I'm I'm in the market for new cameras. Damn. Uh for five hundred dollars. Ooh, yeah. And shipping it away. It's sad. Yeah, it's sad. It's it's tough. Fujifilm. Olympus. That was incorrect. Uh both were incorrect, actually. I think Fuji was that other one we went on. Foxmo. Fujifilm. Leica. No. Oh my god. I need a list of cameras. Well, I was going to say this is this is like, tough multiple, because we're like, getting like, out of three? the brands that you're used to. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh. Fujifilm. Olympus. That one was Leica. Actually. <laughs> so so we'll, we'll go back. You already got Canon. We got the big three. Yeah. The big three? This is uh this is Panasonic. Oh. I was trying. To, I was thinking it sounded kind of like the. Oh, is the Panasonic G five? GH five? I that, I I think so. Is that in the G seven? I was trying to think. I felt I felt like my friend who has a G five. It sounded kind of like that. But then I ended up saying food or whatever I said. Olympus. Yeah, so this one's this one was tough. Uh, I knew it would be hard because it's a hard game anyway. Uh, this is a a Pentax. Oh man! Oh, yeah! Wow! Yeah! This one was Olympus. Olympus. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Is that the one I said Fuji film for? I think so. Yeah, <laughs> that one was Olympus, and then I don't think there's a Fuji in here actually. Yeah. Damn. And that last one was the camera that you have to put the over your head <laughs> and you hold the flash in your yeah. hand yeah basically actually so so uh my girlfriend's mom actually just uh she found it at the thrift store she picked it up and she thought i would like it it's actually i forgot to bring it i should have brought it so it it literally like it's, Film it's like brown leather but it looks like a camera if you were holding a camera like without a lens and then there's like a little hatch on the front it's like this big and then you open the hatch, it comes down, and then the lens like extends out with like the uh, like the folded material coming out. Right. And then you hold it the sideways. Podium. Yeah. And then you sit there and it's like the one where you like pull the pull the shutter down. That's there. crazy. Yeah. Wow. It's kinda cool. I should have brought it. I'll bring it next. Does time. it take photos? I don't know. I haven't figured it out. But it does take um like the the, the big um square photos, whatever those are. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, it's exciting! Do you guys have anything else uh, you wanted to talk about? Oh, dude, Any we projects have, you wanted to plug. We while should. We're here? We should have a. Um, we should have a photo competition, but we have to go buy Polaroids. Ooh, sounds fun. Pentax should sponsor us. <laughs> yes. Even though we could, <laughs> even though we couldn't guess your shutter sound, you should sponsor oh, us so yeah. that we know your shutter sound. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, so then then we'll be able to identify it for next time. You know, we'll do this test again later, mm. uh, different order. You know, it'll be fine. It'll be what's fine. the what's the photo competition though? But oh, is, is it just that we're just doing taking them with Polaroids? Polaroids? Yeah, 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 yeah. That would be and fun. We, That'd be we, tough. I don't know what the competition would actually be, mm. but we'd all use like. Mm -hmm. A Polaroid, and you can't really mess it up. It would yeah. be a more composition yeah. Yeah. and framing battle than anything. I uh, I gave away uh, one of the like the ninety dollar uh, this Pentax cameras. Cool by accident. Oh no! Because uh, I didn't. They were like just starting to get popular um, in in my circle of like you people, like university people. You people. Oh okay. <laughs> and then. Uh, I won it in a raffle, and then in the group that I was in the raffle with, uh, one of the girls came up to me, and she was, like, really shy, and she didn't want to say anything. But, like, her friend was like, hey, she wants to ask if you are going to use that, and if she, if not, if she can have it. And I was kind of like, if she asks me with her own voice, then, yes, she can have it. And then she did. And I thought I was being, like, oh, like, you know, doing a nice thing and also, like, getting her confidence up because I think I was just a scary big guy to yeah. her. 
And then I went home and I was just like, oh, feeling good about myself because I had no intentions of using that. It wasn't popular back then. Yeah. And then I went home, I looked it up. I was like, how much How much was that? Like that prize? It was like $90. I was like, oh, shit. Dang it. Should have asked for like, I don't know, like a beer or something. <laughs> <laughs> something. You should have gotten something out of it. You got something out of it. But, you know, I'm pretty sure she, uh, she, she probably made better use of it than I would have, though. Probably. Probably. So. I feel that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know if you still need the earbud in. Oh, way. yeah, no, 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 I can take those back. <laughs> um, so I wanted to start doing this, though. Do you guys have any uh, any projects you're working on that you want to plug right now? <laughs> um, I'm, I've am i been getting a lot into fitness myself. Cool. And I want to do some fitness content, and I'm actually going to be doing a uh, lifting competition in early February. Cool. And while I don't think it's feasible for listeners, watchers, you guys to go and watch, um, they are doing, it's a charity event. It's called Lifting for Hope. It's for, I think, the Phoenix, Arizona, uh, like, Children's Hospital. Cool. Um, I, I'll probably put it on my Instagram at some point because I think it's cool that they're doing that. So they're doing a deadlift competition, and it's called Lifts for Hope, I guess, because lifting people up. Uh, and, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to go there and, and uh, film and cover the event. That's really cool. So that's, I guess, small plug. Sounds really cool, yeah. I like it. Yeah, no. I think that's... Any plugs? Projects? Not right now? Uh, do you guys... No. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> that's fair. I, I, don't, I don't have any either. Um, I just thought it might be fun, like, yeah. especially at the end of episodes. Like, yeah. we do so many, like, small projects on our own that, like, be cool to... Kind of cool to plug them and talk about them a little bit. We should definitely do that whenever we have guests, because I feel like Ooh. giving them not even like a like because for us it's like oh new projects, new projects, new projects. Yeah. For them it'd be like all of them, their whole brand, like plug their brand. You know, yeah. I feel like that'd be yeah. important to to talk to, have them have that platform yeah. as a thanks for coming and correct playing yeah. games with us. Yeah, that is true. That is true. Well, if we don't have anything else, that is an, uh, another episode of Shut Up and Let Me Take Your Picture. How you guys? How do you guys feel that you did today? I'm so sad that I, there were no Fuji film cameras. <laughs> none of those were Fuji. No, none of those. No, I, and I and I jumped to the Fuji camera yeah. when I kept on going to Olympus. <laughs> I, I there, there might have been a Fuji film there. It was really hard to navigate on my phone, so I might have accidentally skipped the Fuji film. Mm, but you know, rude. you know, it's whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's another episode. It was uh, great having you guys here. Always, always a pleasure. Who's hosting next time? I think it's. I think it's back to Max. Me. It's back to Max next week. It would or, be well, next time. It would be a good time to do the Toronto trip. That would be a good. Could be a quick week, week, weekend thing too. That is true. Let's go to Toronto. Is it Let's colder? Let's go to Toronto. Oh, I'm about to go to New Mexico for like a week. So uh, I saw yeah. that. Let's go to yeah. Florida just for warmth for once. <laughs> no, that's where we go to. That's why we go to Toronto because it's like cold, but it's like warm cold. You know. Yeah. What that's is what, warm that's what cold? People, that's what people in Toronto say, right? They say it's not cold. Max, you're from Toronto. Do you say warm cold? Oh no, it's cold in Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Oh no, it's cold." I know. Just it's just it. not cold anywhere else other than Toronto. <laughs> <laughs> All right, who wants to call the roll credits? Jarrett. What? What am I doing? Jarrett. What's? You can just, follow just, da- you can follow Daniel at. Sorry, uh, I yelled. Daniel Ray Photography Five Five. You can follow Max at. Max U Photography. How do you spell that, Max? Max Y U Photography. M A X Y U P H O T O G R A P H Y. And you can follow me at Alice Hart Photography. Uh, this is all Instagram, right? Yeah. 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 I was going to say, we'll have everything linked at the end. But Jared, yeah. just say the words Roll Credits. Oh, yeah. Roll Credits. Roll Tide. Yeehaw! And Max, what contest what do we have? <laughs> <laughs> Daniel.